A cosmetology teacher at Klein Kane High School is behind bars tonight. Investigators say she was recruiting and trafficking her own students in what's being called a prostitution enterprise. Kadria Grisby was arrested and charged with three counts of sex trafficking and three counts of compelling prostitution. Her son, Roger McGee, is also in jail tonight, arrested on similar charges in November of 2022. Now, KPRC 2's Bill Barajas is at the school tonight with what's new at six. Investigators say the students allegedly targeted were reported runaways. There was three of them ages 15, 16 and 17. Klein ISD tells us they were notified by the Harris County Sheriff's Office about the arrest and immediately relieved Grigsby of her duties. They also sent home a letter to parents where they explained what had happened and said there was no intention of letting Grigsby back on campus or at any other Klein ISD campus. This is no yearbook headshot. 42 year old Kedra Grigsby going from the classroom to a jail cell. Those with children or grandchildren at Klein Kane High School upset about how this could have happened. I'm very angry. It destroyed it, destroyed their lives. I'm blown away. Um, I. I can't imagine how she got through the system. Grigsby is charged with trafficking and recruiting students at Klein Kane High School. Investigators say she was arrested after they found text messages between Grigsby and her son, Roger McGee, and her son and the three victims discussing payments of prostitution fees and where to transfer them. They say Grigsby paid for at least one hotel room. Currently, she is facing three counts of sex trafficking and three counts of compelling prostitution. And Jacqueline Aludo, a she human trafficking specialist with no trafficking zone, is hoping she might face an even tougher penalty thanks to a recently passed Texas law. Last legislative session, SB 1831 was passed, No Trafficking Zone Act, which was no trafficking zones for schools. We wanted to create a specialized first degree felony, 25 to 99 years to life. Essentially, the law triggers enhanced penalties in a situation where students are enticed or recruited on school premises. We want to send a clear message that if you traffic children in school areas and all the other no trafficking zones that have passed, you are going to go to jail for a very, very long time. And Grigsby's total bond was set at $750,000. Prosecutors say they expect more victims and more charges as this investigation continues. If you know of someone who could be a victim or are a victim yourself, you're asked to call the Harris County Sheriff's Office. In Northwest Harris County, Bill Barajas, KPRC, 2 News.